Hi and welcome. I want to show you something that we've been building during the summer. Um, it's total open source. You can find it on GitHub. It's deployed on compare.sitespeed.io. Um, you can deploy it yourself or you can run it locally in your browser. It's a tool where you can compare HAR files. So, you know, you can get the HAR file from your fi favorite browser. Uh, I prepared one HAR file from Firefox and one from Chrome. So I just take those HAR files, I drag and drop them into the compare tool. And uh, we are using page x-ray, a tool that we built some time ago that takes a HAR file and do some calculations. And, and so it's easier to show some metrics. Um, and you can see, for example, we have 90 requests if you're using Chrome. For that URL, um, some browser doesn't report everything. So we have uh, the transfer size and the content size. You can see for uh, Firefox that is working as we expected. You can see the size and number of requests for HTML, CSS, and different content types. Uh, we use Perf Cascade, built by Michael, uh, to show the waterfall graph. Um, and we use the same idea as Pat has in WebHest. So thanks, Pat, uh, with the slider. So you can slide to see the difference between the different tars. Uh, we also do some calculations per domain. So you can see how many requests per domain, the size per domain, and you can also see the timings per domain. Uh, but you see some of the HAR, I would say like this, the HAR files from uh, browsers aren't perfect, at least at the moment. So you probably want to use HAR files from WebHest or SiteSpeed or browser time. So we have added some extra love for that too. So we are going to look at two HAR files from WebHest. Uh, I used Chrome. Turn on video and uh, collect time spent in the CPU. So I just drag and drop the files here. Um, yeah, here you can see you have sizes the same, but we also have the first virtual change, so you can co compare it between runs. We have speed index and last virtual change, and we also have the CPU time spent on different things. So you can see that between runs, uh, and then it's exactly the same thing actually. Um, we also have some extra love for site speed, of course. So if you deployed site speed and deployed the result uh, on a URL, you can use that and fetch the HAR files. Um, you can add the, uh, the exact URL to the HAR file or to a specific run. So if we check our uh, test Grafana instance, we see that, yeah, we have, we want to compare, uh, we have the minimum, like the fastest speed index here. So we want to check that run against something that happened here. Yeah. Uh, we have the minimum, so we need to, this is the summary page, you know, so you need to do click on the minimum and you will get to that run. It's run, run number two. You take that URL, you copy paste it, you go to here and you add it as the first uh, URL. And then you do the same here. Go to that run and you go back, click here and click compare. Yes. So uh, when you use site speed uh, or browser time or web test, you will probably have a couple of different runs. Now it will automatically pick the one that you used on your uh, summary HTML page, uh, but you can also go through the other ones. Uh, as you see, for uh, site speed, you can see the connectivity that you used. You will see the first visual change, speed index, you compare it, the last visual change. You will also see the screenshots. So for example, you can visually see if something has changed between the rounds, or you can also see the video. And you can go back to the result page if you want to compare it. Um, yeah, you can see some extra things uh, added in Perfect Cascade, of course. So um, with size speed, we also add the visual progress in the HAR. So uh, you can see how things were painted on the screen. Uh, if you use um, 
first party when you run site speed you can um, define a regex that shows what kind of domains are first party and what kind of domains are third parties you will also get a summary of that when you compare your hard files so you can see do you have a lot more third party content and the size and number of requests etc yeah and that was all for me thanks for listening see you soon again